Speaker, sir. All public hospitals have a catering unit which provides meals to patients who are admitted thereat. Catering units operate from 6.30 in the morning to 17.30 hours on a daily basis, and all inpatients are provided with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Meals are prepared based on dietary recommendations from the chief nutritionist. In addition, meals are also provided to officers working after normal working hours and who are entitled same. Mr. Speaker, sir, I am informed that food wastage in public hospitals is mainly due to the following reasons. First, during visiting hours, relatives bring along meals for inpatients, and thus meals which have already been ordered and prepared by the catering unit are not eaten by the patients. Second, it's common that a patient's condition may suddenly deteriorate, requiring the treating doctor to keep the patient fasting for medical reasons, for diagnostic tests, or even surgical procedures. Third, upon improvement of a patient's condition following treatment administration, the treating doctor discharges the patient prior to meal service. Fourth, many times meals prepared for patients are not eaten as sick patients often lose appetite, leading to a considerable amount of leftover foods. Fifth, some patients are often not willing to receive hospital meals at the time of service, despite requests to be provided with same during the preparation of diet sheet by ward managers and charge nurses. Mr. Speaker, sir, reducing food wastage is on the agenda of my ministry, given the associated financial and environmental impacts. A number of measures have been put in place by my ministry to ensure minimal food wastage at the level of all public hospitals. These measures are as follows. A diet sheet comprising the number of patients in a specific ward, their preferences for meal, number of meals required depending on admission and discharge, types of meals depending on health status of patient, and any other dietary requirement is submitted on a daily basis to the catering unit to ensure that the number of meals prepared strictly meet with the requirements of the patients in each ward. All meals are prepared and distributed according to proportion sizes recommended by the chief nutritionist. For example, the portion of chicken or fish per meal for one patient is around 150 grams. All nursing staff at the level of wards are fully aware of the dietary requirements and choices of each patient and the number of meals served is closely monitored by the nursing staff who, are, who also encourage patients as far as possible to finish their meals. All staff working after normal working hours and who are entitled to meals are required to fill in a meal request form, which is certified by the head of department prior to obtaining their meal. Mr. Speaker, sir, in spite of the above measures put in place, food wastage is around 5 to 10 percent in public hospitals. To further limit food wastage and improve the quality of the catering service, my ministry is envisaging to serve food pack to patients. Each food pack will comprise a container divided into four to five compartments for the different foods. The food packs will be conveyed in a, in a heated trolleys from the catering unit of the hospital to the wards and patients can consume their meals as and when they feel hungry. By implementing this novel measure, my ministry will encourage patients to consume hospital meals, thereby bringing food wastage in public hospitals to...